Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Happy Tuesday to you. Welcome to Rusty Champagne. How, how y'all doing? We're going to make sure we got everything actually kind of working right now. I hope we do. Yeah, it looks like we do. So for those of you who might be watching on Twitch, it looks like the Twitch might actually be working this time. I think we might have fixed it. So it's possible that we may have fixed it over there. So I, I, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we're good on that side. So, all right, we're going to see if we can get everything figured out here on this end. So, yeah. So, here we go. Welcome to News Tower. We've got a few people here in the chat. we got Lodger 5, got Ken Barlow, Rezu 77, Yoda, Louis C. Fair, um, Eric. I hope, I hope it's Eric Boskin. I should know it by now. How you all doing? Good to see all of you. Um, I really wanted to give this one another try. This game... I remember when I tried it the first time, it was a lot of fun, um, and it, it was a really good game, and all I gave it was a first look, and uh, it's been out for a little while, and it's kind of a, if you didn't see the first look, I, I believe I put a link to it in the description, and it's a, um, what's the best way to describe it? It's kind of a a mixture, if you played Sim Tower back in the day, and it's got a, it's got a lot of management elements in it as well um so it's uh yeah i mean we'll we'll kind of go through it and uh, i i'll I, I won't go as slow as i did as if it was a first look but yeah we'll we'll get into it and uh, have a lot of fun with the techno frank eliana how you both doing so glad you're here as we get ready um yeah we'll do the intros that just so that way you see the whole thing get the whole regalia in this game so this is a pretty nice opening cutscene. it's pretty fun talks about how we exactly came to acquire this newspaper in the process um, because in this day and age you really don't necessarily want a newspaper but <laughs> but there was a reason that we ended up getting it let's see uh, Mark Ridish Lynn Taylor how you doing so good to see you glad you're here so yeah so we uh, are now getting all these little policy postcards Unfortunately, our father has passed away. That's so sad. Um, it's always so sad to lose your dad. Um, Stinger Beast, hello. Eliana, oh my goodness, right out of the gate. Uh, thank you so much for the generosity right out of the gate for the six, uh, 699 Canadian. Thank you so, so much. That's so nice of you. Um, I appreciate it so much. Um, so yeah, here we are. We're in New York. We're on Ellis Island. And we're learning more about our story. The person who's telling the story is actually our uncle, Josh Spain. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, you're doing something new. So even though we're in New York and we're just coming off of Ellis Island, we're going to, of course, name our paper the Champagne Tribune. Um, because, of course, we would. There's no reason we'd make it anything else. So it's going to be the Champagne Tribune is the name of our paper. Um, Catnip, how you doing? So good to see you. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. Talking about all of our, how our newspaper kind of came to be. Um, and, oh, there we go. There's the notification. Eliana, thank you so much again for your d generosity. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, more about our, our late dad and the person who is running our paper, the uncle who apparently couldn't keep running it because the economy crashed in 1929 and he just got himself in with bad people. So now he's ready to pass this on to us and his retired secretary, Eleanor, will be here to help us out because it's always the uncle who gives us this stuff? Gas station simulator, it's the uncle. News story, or news tower, it's also the uncle. Fair Gaming, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So here we are, down here at the lower level of our new tower. It's 1929. And here's our brand new news building, the Champagne Tribune. And we're getting dropped off at the front door. I don't know why the cops are there. That's never a good thing. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why the cops are there. 
because the place has been ransacked. This place looks like my store in Supermarket Simulator. It may actually look a little bit better, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Uh, yes, I am the new publisher. Uh, and there's a reason why I'm taking it back, because this place looks like it has been borderline destroyed. So there's, there's a reason for this. Uh, yeah, my uncle didn't tell me the full story, so uh, it would be nice to get the full story. So uh, please fill us in, Eleanor. We would be more than happy to hear the full story. Of course, the newspaper has been struggling tremendously, and that's why Uncle wanted to get out of it. <laughs> and even then, there were dwindling readerships. That's never a good thing. One of the quote-unquote debt collectors. They're not just debt collectors. They're actually a little bit worse than that, as it turns out to be. Uh, I'm close enough on pronouncing your name. Uh, uh, is it Beskin? Uh, I, I, I want to get it right, so I, I do my best, and I'm always bad at it, but I want to try and get it right as much as I can. So, uh, let's see. Oh, so thank you to Yoda for uh, helping out with the, with the likes. That's so nice. We are my dad's only hope. Um, it's help me, Rusty Champagne. You're my only hope. Uh, <laughs> the one who was once our esteemed boss, your late father, the great publisher, Antoine Van Endy. That doesn't sound anything like my name, but uh, I don't know. So no time to linger. Let's get it going. We got to get a paper printed. We got to make the, the, every letter count. Stinger Beast. Oh, man. Again, thank you so much for the generosity. Uh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're, you're way too kind and way too generous. Uh, but thank you so, so much for your generosity and, and your donations. Okay, so here's our two people. We only have two employees left because everyone else bailed out on this organization. Uh, Blazinoff and Dennis. These are the last two people that are here. So that one is, I think, Blazinoff. And, uh, yeah, so he operates the telegraphing station. So this is where we find out about what's going on out in the world. And then we have, whoa. Um, then we have Dennis, who is also here. Um, so Blazinov's working diligently on getting us some news so that way we can put it in the paper. And then we've got Dennis, who's sitting here at his table, um, trying to basically wait for some news to show up. All right, so here we go. we got our big blue arrow up here. This shows us where we are in the week. We're on Wednesday, and we got to get a paper out every Sunday, so no time to waste. The good thing is that we can always hit the pause button if things get nuts, and we will make a We will definitely use that at times. So, all right, so we can move the camera and holding the right mouse button or WASD, and we can just use the wheel to scroll in and out. So right now we're just kind of waiting for Blazinov to get some research done. And once he gets some research done, um, then we will have something to go out. All right, so now we need to send out our first reporter. So I'm going to pause this. We're going to go out, send out our first reporter. So this means that we've got some news waiting for us. So when the light's on, we got a line of communication open so we can send reporters over to report on the events. So this is where Mr. Blazinov found our news source. The stock market crashed. So this is the news board. Now we got uh, a story here. So this is the story. And here we're dealing with an economy story, as is indicated by this little icon here. And so now we need someone that has that icon. And wouldn't you happen to know it? Dennis Brown has that icon. So there we go. We're going to drag him in there, get him going. And now we've got that started. There's the notification. Stinger Beast again. You're awesome, dude. Thank you so, so much. Um, so he's already working on the story. It's going to take six hours to get this reported, and it'll get us an economy tag. And that's where we'll learn a bit, little bit more about that later on. So when it's done, it'll be brought to our tower, and then we can put it in the newspaper. So now we're going to head back to the tower, just click outside of the news board. And now we can actually get to working on this place up. Yeah, we're getting nearly close to 2,000 subs. Man, oh man, it, it's absolutely crazy how, how this is going along. I love every minute of it, but it's it's really, really crazy. Um, Buskin. Okay, Eric Buskin. I, I, I was close. I, I had That would have been my third option, I think. So, okay, so over here, this is where the typesetter was. So this is all busted up. So we got to get all this fixed up. So we're going to get all this taken care of. 
because the debt collectors, the quote unquote debt collectors, <laughs> broke all of our stuff. Okay, don't get emotional, Eleanor. We don't have time for that. All right, so let's get this all cleaned up. So we're going to just dispose of this. It's wrecked, so we don't need that. We're going to get rid of that. It's wrecked. So now we're going to go here, get a buy a type setting desk, and we're going to put it right about here. And then we're going to get an assembly table, and we're going to put it right about there. Okay, now I'm going to hit pause, because this is the thing that I kept on doing wrong when we were doing this game last time, when I did it in my sneak preview. I didn't keep going with getting the news. And the news is the more, most important thing. So we got to get Dennis Brown right back out on the case. Um, whoa, why did it not do that? Uh, Dennis, uh, we need you on the case. So uh, it's, oh, maybe it's not going to, oh, maybe I got to do this first. All right, so let's get uh, John Higgins. You're going to be over here on our typesetter. And then, okay, and then we're going to put the file onto the desk. And so, uh, oh, we already got that. So let's go over here, and we're going to get Brad Coleman. Going to put you there. Okay, so the reporter has come back. And now he's going to put the story there. And so now he's going to turn it into a slug. We don't want things to be slugs. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't like slugs. Okay, now we're going to pause this again. We're going to send him back out on the road. So Dennis Brown, take care of this crime story. There we go. So he's going. Going to get this going again. And we're going to wait for some news to pop in. Uh, what is this game about? looks really interesting. It's about uh, starting up a newspaper. So uh, this used to be the newspaper that our father ran before he passed away. And then our uncle took it over. And our uncle got into debt above, uh, over his head. And so now he bailed on the newspaper. And now we have it. So we're basically building our own newspaper. And we're also building our own tower. So eventually this building is going to get bigger and bigger as time goes on. As our newspaper gets bigger and bigger. So that's basically, that's the big premise of the game for the most part. Uh, let's see, I uh, just started watching you when you started the Supermarket Simulator. Thank you, Christina Osborne. I hope you have a wonderful time with this game, too, because this game's a lot of fun. So, um, uh, yeah, this, this one, I really enjoy this one, and I hope you guys will, too. Um, so right now, we're just letting the day go on a little bit here. Um, there's nothing new to report on because we got both of our stories going on. So we got these lovely gentlemen that are working on getting these um, items put into the ability to get them put into news. So here's our economy story and here's our crime story. So this one's going to take six more hours. Now it's going to be down to four. And then we can throw away individual parts of a story. Um, but I will worry about that another time. And yeah, there will be times where we won't be able to run stories. And then we have this story down here. All right, so this one's all good to go. Perfect. So we got our first article. How about that? So now we actually got something to put in our newspaper. So then we can put it in the printer. We'll do that next. And there she is, Bertha, the old-fashioned printer. So we're going to... Get this in there. Oh, don't get emotional. Don't get emotional, Eleanor. It'll all be fine. So let's get the let's get this story in the paper. Okay. And uh, she left us some blue notes again. She'll be back next week. Okay. So now she... Oh, she's got something else to tell us. Uh, what else do you have to tell us? Oh, they left us a little present in the printer. How nice is that? Okay, so we're going to place our first article. So we're going to hit pause on this. And we're going to go here. And there's our nice little thing. We got a new publisher. That would be us. We're the new publisher of our new newspaper. So we're going to drop that story in there. And then we got this one that's still being worked on. It'll be ready in three hours. And then we can also put that in there. So these stories have bronze tags. That's the, so that color is supposed to be bronze. And for every one of those that we put in here, we're going to get some sales. And then if we get some silver tags and gold tags, it's going to give us even more sales. So those are even better. Um, so, yeah, these silver tags are more valuable, but they're harder to find. This is going to tell us how many newspapers we're going to sell. Um, and then we're going to have subscribers later on. But right now we don't have that. And this is how much money we're going to make when we have this all said and done. 
So and we can do different layouts and maybe get different results. And so, all right, we're going to press play on this. This story is going to be ready in like three hours. Um, this game came out in, uh, it came out the week before Supermarket Simulator. So this game came out, I believe, February 13th. So it's only about a, a month old at most. It is available on Steam. I have the link to it in my description, so you can definitely find it there. The game we're playing now, Caleb, for, uh, from Cruising the World Travel, is called News Tower. So that is the game that we have currently on your screen for your viewing pleasure. Okay, so now we are done. We don't have any other news to report on. So the other thing we could do, since there's not much else going on, and since Eleanor hasn't given us anything else to talk about, we can fast forward time. So we'll fast forward time a little bit. And now it's time to roll the presses. So now we can actually print our first newspaper. So now we're going to go back up here again. So it's time to prepare for printing. We have all Sunday to compose our newspaper. We don't have any other stories over here that we need to get into the newspaper. So we are ready to go. And then uh, this will automatically stop before the end of Sunday too, giving you a last chance to print everything that we want. So we've got everything in the paper that we want. And then we'll go down here. We're gonna click start. Gonna yank on this lever all the way down. And we are now printing our very new first newspaper uh, right there in Bertha. She's doing her best. And look at that. We got a newspaper. We got 4,000 newspapers sold. Uh, these are things that w w people are talking about with our newspaper. And there we go. In our first, in our first newspaper, we made $800. We don't have any ad revenue. We don't have anything from hidden agendas yet, which we don't even know what those are about. Um, our newspapers are only worth 20 cents a piece, which for 1929 is probably pretty pricey. Um, this kind of gives us an indicator of what our monthly expenses were. So we had to pay $200 for junior employees. Um, we don't have any loans, which is good. And so we got 9200 in the bank. And that's our first paper. Eleanor, don't swear. Come on. <laughs> they destroyed our printer. What the hell? Oh, sorry. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, so we're going to have to fix our printer because the bad people came in and destroyed our printer because they're rude. Okay, so our printer's been wrecked. So we're going to get that fixed up, and we have to get rid of the desk, the cabinet, and the plant over here. So let's get rid of all this. So get rid of our desk. Uh, Solo PHL, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I think it's all working over there. I'm going to try and see if I can see the chat. I'm actually going to pause this. I want to see if I can see the chat here. Um, there is something uh, that is showing up here, but I only see one thing in the chat. I've really got to figure out what's going on with the chat on the multi-stream side because for whatever reason, it doesn't actually appear in here. So if people are chatting in um, in Twitch, I'm sorry that I'm not seeing it. For whatever reason, it's not showing up on my screen. But I love you guys on Twitch if you're watching over there. Um, so we're going to keep on getting rid of this. What else do we have to get rid of? Oh, yeah, our bad plant. Our poor plant, they got knocked over. <laughs> so that's all gone. Um, okay, so now we can do some other things. And this is where everything started getting crazy when I was doing this game last time. So, because they start throwing a whole lot at you at the same time. So we need someone to clean up this mess. But first, we need to get this story. So let's get this story. So this is a cargo ship that burned and sank. Dennis Brown can take care of this. And that will lead to a second part as well uh, down the road here. So we're going to let that happen. Uh, Mariel, uh, Mariel Lambs, thank you for the follow on Twitch. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, you're seeing the chat, keeping an eye on it. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, it's not showing up on my stream labs. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so now it looks like he's actually working on the second part of this. Uh, this game, for those of you that are wondering, it's called News Story. It came out about a month ago. It is available on Steam. It is a game that is basically about building our own newspaper that our uncle left to us. Um, well, uh, that our father previously owned, and then he passed away, and then it went to our uncle, who got us into all kinds of debt, and now we are getting ourselves out of debt by making our own newspaper. So, so that's what it's all about. Okay, so now we need to go over here. We need to build a sweeping station. And we're going to build it. Uh, I guess we can build it in this corner. Actually, I'm going to build it over here. So we're going to put the sweeping station over here. And then we're going to uh, 
assign a cleaner. So we're going to go here. Um, we're going to have Walter Gray be our cleaner. All right, so he's going to sweep things up for us. Uh, we can get things moving again for time. We can close that up. And now we're going to add a fresh floor. So we're going to go up here, hit the plus key. And it's going to cost us $1,000 to build a new floor. So yeah, over the course of the game, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding this building, going higher and higher as we get more and more stuff that we need to put into the building. So right now we're just getting our second floor, getting ready to go. So we're going to build some stairs to go up to the second floor. So we need some stairs. They're going to go here from the door and they'll go up here to the second floor. And then now we can actually build our printing press and we're going to put our printing press up here on this second floor. So now we have all the pieces for our printing press. So we're going to build each of these pieces. And we're going to put them right where they want. So we're going to put the input there. We're going to put the output right over there, right where they want it. And we're going to put the page module. Uh, oh, they want the belt first. So we're going to take the belt and atta attach it there. So just sliding it over. And then we need to put the page module in, and that's going to go there. So that's going to allow us to basically make newspapers. And this is going to get bigger and bigger as time goes on. So as we're able to do more and more pages, we'll have a larger and larger printer. But right now, it's only one page because we still have a very small newspaper. So, yeah, as, it, as we get more news, we'll have a bigger printer. And uh, that'll continue to increase as time goes on. All right. So now we need some more workforce peeps. So we're going to go down here and we need a new telegraphing station. We need new researcher. So we are going to then pause this again because I love pausing. So now I'm going to also put in some lights up here on the second floor. So I think we can go up here and we're going to get some lights. I'm going to put some of these up here. Because I think I might move all of our telegraphers up here to the, the second floor. I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, this desk is going to move up here. And um, we will also move and build another one. So we can get another... Oh, I didn't mean to close that. So we can get another telegraphing station. That's a reporter desk. Um, so the telegraphing station is in here. There we go. So there we go, another telegraphing station. All set, and then we need a new reporter desk. The reporter desk, will have it right over here by Dennis's. There we go, now we gotta put someone here. So now it's gonna keep throwing stuff at us, that's fine, we'll, we'll let that go. Um, but we do need to get another uh, person to handle the telegraphing station. That will be Tom Graham, so he's gonna go over here and be our new telegrapher. And then we do also need to get someone to do the reporting for us, and that's gonna be Ronald Porter. So we'll throw him there. And now we can get things moving again. Um, so now what we need to do, the other thing that we need to do is we need to enhance the telegrapher or the reporter. So we're going to basically do that by giving them an accessory. So they just gave us a globe so we're going to give him a globe. So we're going to go back into here. Give him a globe. So we're going to drag that onto a desk. You're going to get yourself a globe. And how about that? So now that's made you a little bit better at your job. So that is good. It's always good to have people that are better at their job. All right. So now we have a finished story. So we're going to go over here so we can close that out. So we've got a finished story. We're not going to worry about taking out a loan. Um, we're go oh yeah, we already went into more depth on our story and now we can actually place it in our newspaper. So we're going to go over here and click on our, whoop, we'll click off of this. So we can take this and we can put it into our newspaper. So we, in order to do that, we're going to pop it. Um, it's going to go into, oh yeah, we're going to go there. That's right. So we're going to put this into our paper. That's going to be our front page story right there at the top. So there we go. So we're going to just keep on getting news, send out our reporters, and get all the dirt that we can. So, yeah, and the better that we can get the news, because this one's still bronze. So if we can get better news, then we're going to get, um, 
we're going to get better stuff. So, and if we place the same tag on a page more than once, we'll earn even more sales. So yeah, we're trying to get as many of the same tag on the page that we can. But right now, that hasn't been an issue so far. Okay. So we got a page. That's good. We got a story. Uh, Solo PHL, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. All right, so we got some more news here. Let's see, what do we got for news? Um, so every lamp is going to give us a spot for handling news. So now that we have two telegraphers, we can get two different stories. So this is a story that Ronald Porter can handle because he's got the uh, politics skill. So he's going to go there and take care of that one. So he's going to find out about this on the eve of the election. And he will give us the dirt on that when he has the chance. And now we have another story here. So this story is uh, another economy story, which Dennis Brown can handle. So we'll have him go out and find that one. So, yeah, now we got all the news. People are working on getting it all for us. So that way we can get it into our paper. And, yeah, so there's Ron. He's already back with his news. And then we got our telegraphers that are hard at work. We got our typesetter that's here reading the paper because he's waiting for stuff. Uh, we got our cleaner that's standing there not doing much because the place is pretty clean. So, uh, Sherry Evans. Yeah, this game is really cute. I, I like this one. It's a fun game. Uh, it just And it, it's only about a month old. It has not been out that long. So um, it's it's a fun one, and again, it, it's a it's a, a sim style game, and it's a if you ever played Sim Tower, it's a it's a game like that because we're going to keep on building this building taller and taller. We got some news, so yeah, I I think it's definitely worth a look for sure. Um, it, it, so if you and that's why I wanted to do a stream of it, just so that way people could see something other than Supermarket Simulator and uh, give us a little bit more variety. Because as I always say, variety is the spice of life. So, so yeah, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to do this one. This stream is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to go until about 5.30, uh, just because I've got other things going on today. So we'll, we got about another hour on this one. So it won't be our normal two and a half hours like it would be on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So right now we just got our uh, reporters working on getting us some news. We got our typesetter working on getting it turned into something that we can turn into our paper. So if we kind of look here, all these are being worked on. So this one's going to take 14 hours. This one's going to take one and a half days. This one's going to take two and a half days. So we might be, we'll definitely be able to get this one in because we're still on Friday. And we should be able to get the bridges and bottlenecks in here as well because that would get us into Saturday. And then this one will probably be in our, our, um, in our newspaper for next week because it's going to take two days and I don't know if we're going to have two days to get there. And at this point, we can only get three stories in our newspaper anyway. So there is that. Uh, maybe there'll be an article about window chicken. <laughs> maybe. You never know. They might have put one in for me. Um, it's hard to tell. Funny story. I do have to tell this funny story while we're doing this. Um, so I get a call that uh, apparently some of my my nieces and nephews um, <laughs> told my sister-in-law that, uh, so their mom, uh, that they found me on YouTube. And I hadn't told my sister-in-law anything about me being on YouTube. And apparently they somehow found me on YouTube and they're like, wait, that's Uncle Russ. And uh, so that was rather hilarious that somehow my nephews found me on YouTube and I never mentioned anything to anyone in the family. So however that happened, it's <laughs> just another crazy thing about this adventure that we're on here. So uh, yeah, I thought that was really really cute um yeah that, that's not one you hear every day oh hey my my uncle's on youtube <laughs> all right so we're into friday almost done i could probably fast forward time a little bit here because we're just kind of waiting for things to happen oh this story's ready we can put it in our paper so on the eve of the election is going to go onto our into our paper we'll drop it right there and then in eight hours we're going to have bridges and bottlenecks we can put that in, so we'll hold this down a little bit. There we go. Now we got bridges and bottlenecks. Boom. We got a full newspaper. Look at that. We are good to go. So we can close all this out. And to close it out, you just click anywhere outside of that. So 
yeah, I mean, that, that really made me feel good to, to, to hear that. And at the same time, I was completely and utterly surprised uh, that that also happened because that was completely unexpected. All right, let's fast forward time a little bit. All right, time to roll the presses. Let's get our next newspaper going, and here we go. So we got everything ready. We got three stories in here. It's going to get us three bronze tags. We get double for this one because it's above. It's basically above the fold is what they call it. So we're going to get a little bit more for that. And, uh, yes, we're going to get 3000 in sales. We should make $800. That's the expectation. Going to pull the lever all the way down. And there we go. There's our second paper. Off and running. There we go. Cargo ship burned in sink. I hate it when my cargo ship burns in sinks. Um, and then giving us some other information about the other stories that we got here. 4,000 newspapers sold. That's good. And, yeah, made some money. <laughs> it's important to make money when you're running a newspaper. So, yeah, made another $800. And we had to pay uh, $350 for our workers because we hired a couple more people. And there we go, two months in. So now we get to go to the New York City map. And so now here, this is where we're going to start doing some expanding. So we're going to have the opportunity to ex uh, expand into some other areas. So given the fact that the arrow is pointing right here at Williamsburg, that's where we're going to expand. And in this case, Williamsburg would really like some crime stories and they would like some sports stories. And as it turns out, we have a sports story in our drawer. So that's kind of nice. So we will expand our business here. And yeah, so they want to see these tags in their newspaper. And if we're able to give them those tags, then they'll be very happy. And that will give us the opportunity to expand even further. All right, so we're going to select this district. And we can play one district every week. So there's our one district that we played. Um, and we are ready to go. So now we're going to start learning about comfort and uh, what we need to do to make everyone more comfortable. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this story and I am going to put it into our paper. This one is old news. So because we got it finished before last week ended. So... Uh, we will lose a little bit because it's old news, um, but that's okay. We still want to get it printed because we need it for um, we need it for our for our our district here. So uh, since we finished this story last week and didn't put it in the paper last week, it becomes old news and it's not as good. Um, so now here we want a crime story for sure, and we also have this politics story. So let's get this crime story. It's going to be Dennis Brown. You're on that. And then we can go back here to the Globe again. And Ronald Porter, you're on this one because you're a politics man. So they're going to take care of those stories. And now we can kind of go into here. And, yeah, so we get to get some comfort. So if we look here, we can see where people are not comfortable. So everyone here is kind of comfortable. So where you see the green bars, that means everyone's kind of comfortable. And where you see yellow bars, that means they're not as comfortable. And where you see red, it means they're really, 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 really not comfortable at all. So yeah, green is comfort. Uh, red is uncomfortable. And yeah, so the printer causes a lot of discomfort because it's really, really noisy. So yeah, so we want to try and get this taken care of so that way... Our, type, our telegraphers are not mad because they're next to the printer. I mean, somebody had to go next to the printer. So <laughs> it'll have to be them. So we're going to have a wall with a door. We're going to drop it right there because that's where they want it. Okay. So now we've got these other things we can put up. We can put up an acoustic panel, a small plant, a small fan, a clock, an air vent. So all these things that we can do. So now we need to counter some discomfort with some objects. So we're going to go over here. So these guys, they're loud. So they want something that's going to take care of the noise. So this acoustic panel will help take care of the noise. And that will make them a little bit happier. So we can drop that kind of right there. I might actually be able to do a couple of these. So we're going to do one there. And we'll do another one there. So they're a little bit happier now. 
And the other thing that we want to do, so we're going to get this going again. And what else do they need? It's a little bit hot here. Oh, we got another story. I don't even know if I can send anybody out. Uh, no, I have no one else to send out right now. So we won't be able to do anything until our reporters are back. And then, yeah, so we could use these buttons to prioritize our research. So if we wanted to get crime, we could push that button down. Or if we wanted politics or economy. So if we wanted to get different kinds of research, we could... Uh, just push that button down, and that would give us priorities. I'm sure that's going to come into play later as we want to get things for our districts. So right now, that's not as big of a deal for us. Um, so we'll, we won't worry about that as much right now. Okay, so now we're back to here. So now we need to take care of the noise and the heat up here. So we're going to put up another acoustic panel over here. And that will help a little bit. And we'll put up a small fan. And that will also help with the heat. And it gets rid of a bunch of the noise. Um, but it also does make it a little bit hotter in both of these places. So I might put up a couple more walls as well. So we might do something here. Um, so they're still hot. So we, in order to take care of the heat, we can put up an air vent. And that will take care of just about everything. How about that? The only thing we have here is we've got some noise. So can we move this a little bit more to the right? There we go. Everybody should be happy now. Or at least I hope. So uh, other people. Uh, how are other people doing in the paper? Oh, we're almost out of paper. So we should get some paper. Uh, let's get a delivery of paper as well. So we're going to get, uh, we'll get a medium delivery of paper. So we'll do that. And now everyone should be happy. So if we look at this. Um, okay, so now this is going to be everything that we need for the, the paper that we just got. So now we need to get all these things put into place. So we're going to go here. And we need to get a, uh, a supply desk and someone to transport all the resources. So now that we bought all that paper, we need to have someone that's going to be able to resupply it. And we're going to need someone that can work at that station. So that is going to be Earl Goodman. He's going to go here and he's going to be our resupply guy. So every time we order paper, he's going to take care of putting all the paper where it needs to be. Okay, so now we're good there. Um, we've got a crime story we can put in our paper. Let's drop that in. Um, so yeah, now she's telling us about this old news because of that article that got finished up a week ago. So that's fine. Um, again, so we lose a little bit because it's old news, but we need a sports story for our district. So that's still fine. Uh, Aiden Tysick, hello, how you doing? Welcome to News Story, or News Tower. I keep saying News Story, it's News Tower. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, and if we keep looking... Um, she's just going to tell us more about this. So, yeah, we know all about the old news now. We're, we're all good there. Um, and then we got one more story here that we're working on. This one will be done in about six hours. Okay. So we'll click off of here. And there's not really much that we can do in here. I guess we can uh, put up an acoustic panel. There's not really much of a place to put one. We can put one there. And uh, is there anywhere we can actually put a fan? Or maybe an air vent. Uh, I guess we'll try and put something up here. Uh, we'll put up a little bit of everything. So that will maybe help out. Okay. So that at least cleared that up. Now they want a water cooler. They want everything at the beginning of this game. They, they just want absolutely everything. Oh, we need some light here for this gentleman. So let's get him some light. I'm sure he would appreciate that. So there we go. You've got some light. Everything is good with you now. And now we've got, um, they still want uh, discomfort countered with objects. There's not much else we can do in this room. So we're just going to kind of leave that. And then over here, they want a water cooler. Okay, so let's get a water cooler built. So if we go down here, we can get a water cooler. Uh, we'll take that. We'll put it up here on the second floor. So the water cooler is down here by the employee needs. So we're going to take that. Put it right up here by the door so everyone can now talk around the water cooler. So that'll make a few more people happy. And if we keep looking around, uh, yeah, 
at this point, this one's still kind of going. These people are still unhappy. Why are you uncomfortable? What is making you uncomfortable? I do not know. Because you seem like you should be happy. Um, there's nothing that would be making you unhappy. Do we just need to make you happy? Is that really what we need? So maybe we need to do that. So let's kind of go in here. Um, maybe you just want to be happy. So what can we do to make you happy? Uh, let's kind of take a look. Maybe you want a plant. Let's give you a small plant. Oh, all this other stuff. So now they're going to give us our bathroom. That All that stuff that went around, that was a bathroom. So uh, we will get the bathroom built as well. Like I said, Eleanor keeps us hopping at the very beginning of, the, of this thing. So there's a lot that goes on at the very beginning. So, yeah. So now we're going to build a toilet. I am going to move our dad's picture out of here. Maybe I'll put it up here. So that'll make these guys a little happier. And then we will move this Aloha sign. And we'll put it over here to make these guys a little bit happier. And then we're going to put the toilet in here. So, because everyone needs a toilet. Um, that's a very important thing. So, we're going to go over here. And get a toilet built. And we're going to drop it right in there as close to the wall as we can. And then we need to counter that smell as much as we can. So, we're going to put in an air vent. And we're going to drop it right there. Uh, we're also going to put in a sink to also help out with things. Um, we're also going to put in a mirror to also help out with things. So that will all help out. And we'll also put in a uh, small fan, which should also, there we go. So now no one should have any issue with the toilet. That's for sure. Because we got everything in there that should make life a little bit better. Um, these guys are still uncomfortable. I don't know what their issue is. You're feeling uncomfortable. What are you uncomfortable about? Um, let's see. What is your issue still? Uh, I do not know. I, I really wish I did because you guys seem like you're happy. So <laughs> there's got to be something that's making you unhappy. Uh, but we'll figure it out another time. It is time to roll the presses. I think we got one more story that we can put into our newspaper. Yes, we do. So that story is going to go into our paper. So now we got our crime story, we got our politics story, we got our sports story. Williamsburg wanted some crime and some sports. So they are happy with both of those. And we can get our reporters going. So we're going to actually, uh, we'll hold off and we're going to wait and see what we need in our next paper, I think. Or should we send them out? No, we'll just send them out. We're just going to get these guys going. So Ronald, you're off on that story. And it's a story about uh, the bowling tourney. <laughs> Always important to know what's going on in the bowling world. And then uh, Dennis Brown, you're going to go over here and take care of the marooned on small rock story. All right, there we go. Um, is this the only game that I'm streaming today? Uh, yes, it is. I'll be streaming for about another 45 minutes. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be going until 530 uh, Central Standard. And this will be the only one I got today. So we'll have more Supermarket Simulator tomorrow for those that are wondering about that one. So we'll have that back tomorrow for you. Okay, so let's see. I think we got everything in the paper that we can get in here. Um, let's see. Uh, last chance must print now. Your newspaper doesn't have to be filled all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we're ready. Oh, did I just run out of time? Oh, I just ran out of time. Okay. Ha! Let's get this paper going. And it is rolling. We found a loaded pistol at the playground. I hate it when we find loaded pistols at the playground. Um, all news is old news happening to new people. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. So there we go. We made uh, 3,000. We sold 3,750 3, papers this week because we had the one old news story. So we made $750. That's good. Still haven't done anything with ads. Still haven't done anything with hidden agendas. We did do everything we needed from our district. So that's good. Um, our district is happy. So we took care of that for them. That gives us some influence for whatever that's worth. And then if we look here, we do owe a little more money because we hired another person. 
So we got $3,800 still in the bank. Um, still haven't had to take out a loan. And hey, we got someone with a promotion. That means it's time to fire him, isn't it? <laughs> uh, all right, John Higgins leveled up. Way to go, John. Good job you did there. So we're very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Okay, and the more they, that they work, the more experienced they become, but then they also become more needy, which is always the case when you get people that are really, really experienced. They tend to get really, really needy or something. Okay. Uh-oh. Now what do we got? So this is clicking here. Oh, boy, it's the Mafia hideout. Nothing bad can happen with the Mafia hideout at all, can it? Okay, so this guy knew our uncle very well, and he's saddened by his sudden disappearance. Yeah, I think that he fled the country. Uh, he hoped nothing happened to his business associate. Um, oh, I didn't mean to clean, click on that. I was hoping it would just... Will that do it? Okay. So, yeah, he's invested a lot in our business, and he wants to see some returns. And everybody can print a good story, but not printing politics this week might pose a challenge. I don't want these so-called leaders fear-mongering your readers. Okay. So he doesn't want us to print any politics. Okay. I guess since he's the mafia guy, we won't print any politics for him. So we can do one of these per week. And we can also do a district this week. So let's see. What districts can we do? We can do a crime and an economy. Or we can do... Uh, which other ones do we have? Uh, Jess Cowan! Welcome to Rusty Champagne. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, it's It's been a wonderful day. And we're doing News Story, or News Tower. Why do I keep calling it News Story? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Why don't we pick another district to conquer? I agree. So we've got all four of these districts. So let's see. They want crime and alarming, which can be discovered in crime and economy. They want society, which we already have in the drawer. Um, these guys want uh, sports, which we also already have in the drawer. And then uh, how about these guys? Oh, we need another page requirement. So let's do one of these. So should we go to Mass Beth or should we go to Bayon? Uh, let's go to Bayon because we've already got a society story. And then they want an entertainment story as well. So we'll go that way. I'm kind of feeling that. All right. All good. It's 1930. Look at that. We're already in 1930. Uh, let's see. Uh, Holly Homie, curious about this game. We'll see it tomorrow. Almost midnight. Going to get some uh, shut eye. Nighties and enjoy. Well, thank you for stopping by, Holly Homie. That's so nice. Uh, Stinger Beast is eating window chicken right now. It's always the window chicken. It will always be the window chicken. So now Eleanor is going to leave us on our own to now handle things for ourselves from here on out. So let's see how bad we can goof things up. Oh, but we do have an extra page for our newspaper. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put in our extra page. How about that? So we got an extra printer page module that we can put in. Um, and we can't print any politics this week. So let's pause this. Let's see what we got in our thing here. Oh, uh, so... These guys want, so let's see, this is going to be, uh, so it's going to be crime or economy. So let's see, skip this news if it's not what you're looking for. It really isn't. Uh, we, we don't really need this, so we can skip this. Yeah. So let's see, we do want to prioritize entertainment because we need that for our newspaper. So we're going to see if we can get some, uh, some entertainment in here. And let's take a look at what we need here. Okay, so we don't want any politics. I think we're good there because right now we got a, um, that's a, what kind of story is it? Oh, these are old stories. Uh, this one's going to be one and a half days. So here's our sports story, which will be in 18 hours. But again, they're both old news. So it might be worth it to not get these so close to the end of the week because they're going to turn into old news on us. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, for the chicken supermarket, just a few chicken cutlets. <laughs> Always the window chicken. Okay, so it might be worth it to not get these stories near the end of the week because they turned into old news. So that'll be something to maybe keep in mind as we're doing more and more of this. Oh, and then th this is our society story. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so let's get this moving. Um, what do we have here for our exclamation, exclamation points? Okay, so we can add another floor. Let's do that. But first, let's see what kind of news we got. Entertainment. Perfect. Thousands watch the circus parade. Uh, Ronald, you can handle news like that. So you're going to do some entertainment for us. There we go. All right, I'm going to pause this again. Let's get another floor onto our building here. Because this will probably allow us to move the printer up one floor, which is what we want. Get this floor off, get this printer off of this floor and make everyone a little bit happier. So, how much is it for this floor? Um, it's not going to tell me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I guess we can close that. It is some amount of dollars. Uh, can we make you go away? $2,500. So, it's going to leave us with 3800 bucks. Or it's going to leave us with thirteen hundred dollars. Okay, so we've done that. Okay, so now I think the other thing we can do is we can move the printer. So let's move the printer and get this up here. So up you go. Let's move you. Um, uh, what are you going to let me? Oh, maybe I got to disconnect everything. Let's see. Do we have to disconnect everything first? Let's see. Maybe we got to. I've not tried disconnecting these things. Move. So we're going to move that. There we go. So you're going to go up there. And you're going to go up there. And then we're going to get our extra printer module, which I think we have in here. Uh, where was that? Uh, where did that one go? It's in here somewhere. I'm just going to click some buttons and wait and see. Oh, there it is. It's right down there. Our, our extra printer page module. So that's going to go there. We're going to move this up here. Whoa. Why will you not let me move you? Um, why are you not going to go upstairs? <laughs> you should go upstairs. Uh, I, yeah, the printer's incomplete because I'm trying to move you. Uh, all right, we're going to stash you then. And then we're going to grab you again. So you are stashed and you're going to go up here because you're not going to do it any other way. And so now I think we can do the belts so the belt is going to go across all these. There we go. That's done. Uh, we're out of paper. Oh, but we do have some paper, so I think now we'll just be fine. Um, unstored resources. So uh, can we just move those? Yeah, I guess we'll just move those. So I think that'll take care of it. I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, let's see. Uh, J-Dub, hello, beautiful people. Better show up later than never. Le better late than never. Of course. Uh, so, Rustyisms are happening, as always. You just never know in the world of Rusty Champagne what's going to happen. Okay, so we ne do need some lights up here. How much money do we have? We have $300. I guess that means I don't have a whole lot of money for lights. So, let's get time going forward again. And let's get maybe a light up here. So there we go. We'll put one light up there. And I guess we do need to put some stairs up here um, because we do need to have someone that can operate this. Oh, yeah, that's why we can't get it. So stairs. So we're going to do some stairs. They're going to go from there up to there. Oh, they can't go there. Maybe they can go that way. There we go. Perfect. So now we got some stairs. Uh, capital fire. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, but that's a politics story. And we can't do that because we don't want politics. Oh, this employee's not available. So we can't do that one anyway. Um, or we could have this be a society story. So maybe, oh no, it's an economy story. Uh, yeah, we'll, put, we'll, we'll have Dennis Brown go that way. Okay, so he's going to do that. And then what was the other one? Oh, we're still waiting for him to come back. So, all right. Because I think Ron is out somewhere doing something. Um, or where is Ron? Where did Ron go? Uh, he should be around here somewhere. Is he still out doing a story? Uh, I do not know. Uh, you're unhappy about something. It's very noisy in here. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll put up a wall once I have some money. But for now, it's no big deal because you're down the floor. So can I sell this wall? Uh, I'll worry about that another time. Let's see. The what? Just woke up from a very good nap. Awesome. It's always good to get a good nap. That's a, that's a good thing. 
All right. So now we've got stories. Okay. So these are both in the drawer. All right. So we got a society story. We'll put that there. Um, oh, it's not finished yet. Oh, the only thing that's finished is our sports story. So we're going to put that there. Um, these stories are still being worked on. And um, so that one's 15 hours. Let's let's fast forward time a little bit because we can. Um, and let's see. Are any of our guys back? So that one is our society story. I'm not going to put that one on the front. Um, let's see. Don't worry. We can still use it for next week's edition. Well, it's 11 hours. we got plenty of time. I don't know what they were talking about there. Over here. So I guess we can get two more stories. So how long is it going to take it? The Boston Bruins win. Uh, let's see. What is your... Oh, dangerously low supply of food? I guess we can get some food. And that will run us completely out of money. We are completely out of cash. Can't do anything else for money this week. So that's fine. Oh, yeah, the Bruins win their 14th straight game. So I heard that all the stories in here are actually realistic to the time period, which is another kind of cool thing. Uh, looks like I got a, oh, uh, yeah, talking about the little wrench. Uh, yeah, what does have a little wrench. So, yeah, we have our, our wrench crew on the case. All right, so if we keep looking, let's see. Do we have one other story? Oh, yeah, so we got this uh, story here. Dennis Brown can do this one. And I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get. So they're busy doing their things. Um, this entertainment story is ready to go. So we can put this into our paper. That's going to be our front page. And now we can go. we got a second page that we can now do if these. Oh, yeah, we'll have all these for sure. So we're going to have all kinds of news in this paper. So look at us with our two-page paper. Um, can, oh, and now can we put two things on the same one here? Uh, let's move this off of here because I want to put that on page two. So we're going to put these both on page two because they match they match tags. So, and I think we can, if we can get that one too, uh, will we be able to get that one? Two and a half days. No, we're not going to be able to get that one, but we will, we'll be able to get this sports story, I think, for one and a half days. I think we can do it. Yeah, we can do that one for sure. We'll be able to get that. And we'll be able to put that one on our front page. Time to roll the presses. And can we get this final story? I think we got enough time to get it. Yeah, five hours? I think that should give us enough time. Let's see if we can get it. Yep, yeah, there we go. We got a full paper. All of the all of the society on this one, so that's going to give us a bunch of extra sales. Um, Eleanor is happy. We're going to probably run out of paper, but that's okay. And then we're going to wait and see what we need when we get into our next day for um, for our different uh, for our different districts. So we will wait on that. So we're yeah almost out of paper. Oh, we need ninety seven. Ooh, uh, nothing we can do. We're just going to have to go. <laughs> no choice. There we go. Going to print everything we can. Um, it's going to do everything it can. We got 9,700 newspapers sold. Wow. Look at that. A whole bunch of newspapers. Um, we did, yeah, we were 225 in the whole. Uh, but look at that. We made $2,215, and we did take care of the hidden agenda. So, yeah, we, we got all kinds of stuff done. So now we actually have a little bit more money. That's good. Uh, we took care of everything for Bayon. They're happy. Um, the Mafia is a little happier now because we took care of their hidden agenda. So we want nothing but success for you and your paper your debt will be cleared in no time. I'm just a man of business as your uncle knows. Yeah, it's the uncle's fault that we're in this mess. Thanks, Unc. As always, it's always the Unc that causes the issues. You can always count on the Unc for all of the things that go wrong. Uh, Pasha and Brad both get some uh, little promotions. So they're better at telegraphing and better at assembling. So that's cool. And uh, let's see. Anything else? Anyone else? No. 
All right. So now we've got a bunch of different ways we can go here. Uh, let's see. So this, in this case, word on the street is that the coppers hold some dossiers about Irish rivals, a trove of secrets that could tip the scales in our favor. So they want as many alarming things as we can get our hands on. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do, I guess. We'll see how many alarming things we can find. So we'll get you taken care of. And now we need a another district. So let's see. What districts can we do? Um, they Let's see. If we can find one that also wants alarming. Okay, so East New York wants alarming. So since the Mafia wants alarming and East New York wants alarming, we should do that. All right, so we're going to make that our district because they also want alarming. So we're going to try and max out our alarming as much as we can here and uh, and see what we can do here. So, yeah, now we definitely need paper. So let's get some paper ordered for sure. Um, let's get all the paper ordered. Just get a large delivery of paper because we have all the money. Um, some people are uncomfortable. Um, what is the issue with people? Oh, you're probably not happy because you probably want a trash can. So let's get you guys a trash. Oh, no. You're, um, so who's uncomfortable? Let's see. Uh, who is sad here? I don't know who's sad. Oh, well, let's pause. Let's see what we got for news. Uh, we want to prioritize crime. So I guess, oh, the Champagne Tribune has a new publisher. <laughs> That's a story. Uh, but we don't want you going because we need you for crime. So we're going to skip that. Because um, we need you in case any crime stories pop up. So we're not going to have you go out on that one, just in case we need you for something else. So uh, let's see. Anything else? What do we have here in terms of building stuff? Why are you flashing? A solar system poster, which would give us society and our telegrapher. So I guess we can give you a globe. Yeah. All right. There you go. So there you go. You get a globe. We don't have to worry about stashing anything because we don't need to. Everyone feels like they should be happy. All right, let's see what we got in the news. A crime story. There we go. Counterfeit operation busted. And now we've got a washing station that we can get. We'll find out what we can do with that in a minute. So what is dirty? Build a washing station. Assign a cleaner. Okay, so we're going to hide that just for now. So we need to get Dennis on this story uh let's see um what is this all about good day officer a 300 hundred dollar fine oh uh, how rude <laughs> why you give us a 300 hundred dollar fine we're, we're just we're, we're just reporting the news i mean come on now um i guess that's the way it's going to be then we will just have to accept your fine in a huff uh all right so what is dirty so let's see what is dirty exactly um so we're going to build a washing station because they want a washing station so we're going to build a washing station and we're going to put you right about here and then we're going to assign someone to the washing station so ella lewis seems like she's good for the washing station so there you go ella and i guess we can take get rid of this wall now so let's get rid of this wall um, do we need it anymore? Let's close a couple of these things out. Uh, let's see. We can stash this wall. We don't really need it. But we should give you some lights. So let's give you some lights in here. Uh, where are our lights? They are probably right about here. There you go. Now you got some light on the subject. And we can probably get rid of a couple of these things. Um, if we did get rid of this, would that be an issue if we stash that? And that won't be an issue if we stash that. So there we go. I think that's all fine. Everyone seems like they should be happy at this point. It's looking like a, a weird kind of place. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the new Joe. His name is now, uh, his name is now Stinger Beast. Uh, and he's a very, very generous man. And we love him to death. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know it's loud in here. I don't know what you'd like me to do. Uh, I guess I could put up a wall there. I do have a wall that's stashed. Um, more crime. 
And uh, let's see. This is going to give us a police fine if we do it, but and it's going to take three days. Uh, we will. Uh, let's see. We can bribe you. Ooh. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Unemployment rises, and this is all kinds of things. Unemployment new numbers are out. Department of Labor says one and a half million extra workers lost their jobs since the beginning of the recession with no end in sight. But hey, tragedy sells, right? Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Everyone loves tragedy. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we do have to bribe you if we want this. Um, let's see. What do we have to do? I guess we have to bump this up a bit. And let's see. How much are you going to want? I guess you want $60. Okay. There you go. So now we can do this story. Uh, Dennis, you're on the case. Uh, oh, come on now. Oh, boo. <laughs> but I just paid your friend. That's so wrong. We're going to have a very, very small story this week. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I guess that's what we get for doing these. But we're going to make a lot of money from our contacts in the mafioso. They they will they will help us out. Uh, this one's going to be ready in a few hours. So we'll get this into our paper here momentarily. Uh, so we can get our paper ready to go. All right, you're going to be on the front page. There you go. And how long is it going to take to get you ready? A couple of days. But I think we'll be fine there. What other stuff do we have that we can possibly do? Um, not much. So at this point, we're just going to kind of fast forward time because there's not too much that's happening here. Oh, you keep on you keep on being mad about going into the press room. All right, let's 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 put up that wall. I know I've got that wall in my stash. So we're going to put up this wall here, and we'll put up this acoustic panel, and we've got to put up this fan. There you go. So now you won't be as mad about the fact that it's all so noisy. Now you're going to be mad that it's dark, but <laughs> we'll take care of that another time because uh, I have $95 because the cops keep on taking all my money. So it's very mean of them to do that. Uh, let's see. The mafia paying good and the police bribing better. Yeah, I know. I can't win no matter what I do. It's just not my, it's not my week. But, uh, but yeah, the district, they want, uh, yeah, they want crime and they want alarming. So they're going to get everything that they need. Uh, let's see. What do we have here for stories? A horse virus outbreak. So this can be either way and it's going to take a day either way. Uh, Ronald, we'll send you out because we can have you do some sports. And then what is the other story that we had here? Another crime story. So we're going to, this one's going to, oh, this one's going to go out a couple different directions. So Dennis, you're on this one. And he's going to see if he can find a lead. So, all right. So how's this crime story doing? Can we get this one in? One and a half days. I think we can get you in there. Um, something else just popped in. Uh-oh, something's broken. Uh, oh, man. Who broke the water cooler? <laughs> uh, we're going to have to wait to get the water cooler up. Uh, you're sad because... Uh, why are you sad? Um, you're sad because you can't see? Uh, well, we'll get that taken care of. So we'll have to get all that taken care of next week. There's not too much that we can do at this point in time um so we'll we'll have you all taken care of next week girl i'm sorry everyone's gonna have to do without water for just a bit um once we get our next paper printed we'll be in good shape so we're gonna fast forward time a little bit more and let's see what do we have now it's time to roll the presses but before we do that i want to pause things because we got a bunch of stuff going on all right, so we got this crime story. Let's get that on here because that's going to make us some more money. There we go. Um, can we get this sports story? No, that's not going to be. That will not be completed this week. This will not be completed this week. So nothing we can do. It's going to be a very small paper this week. Only two pages. <laughs> or one page, two stories. But it's got all the crime and all the alarming. So at least we got that going for us. Let's see, what do we have here? A new factory is going to open. Uh, Dennis, we can send you that way. 
And then let's see, what's the other one that we got? So that's uh, the other one that we got here is a, a, oh no, that's unfortunate because I can't do anything with this one at this point. Oh, that's a bummer. I sent Dennis on the wrong story. I really needed Dennis on this one because he can handle both of those. And our other reporter, Ron, can't do anything with this. So hopefully that'll sit there for a bit and we'll be okay. All right. All that said, it's time to roll the presses. So we're going to make, we'll make a little bit of money out of this. We'll make $1,600 because we're going to sell, um, we're going to sell a bunch of stuff because we got our alarming, we got our crime. So we're going to make a, we'll make a decent amount of money off of this. Let's give that a whirl. Off it goes. And it is on its way through. And we've sold 8,400 newspapers this week. I'm alarmed. Maybe I should be armed. Look at us selling all of the tragedy. <laughs> How mean of us selling all of the tragedy. That's it's not the best thing in the world, but I guess it's what we do. Um, why am I playing this game? For variety. Basically for variety. And because it's a brand new game. It's a new-ish game. So I, and I want I want people to be seeing I want people to be able to see things other than Supermarket Simulator. So just to give you other stuff that you can view because variety is a spice of life. Um, okay, so let's see how do we do? We sold eighty four hundred newspapers. That's pretty good. Made sixteen hundred and eighty dollars. So we got some more money. We took care of some hidden agenda. Got a thousand dollars back, which took care of all of the money that we. Uh, that we had to pay to the police. So that's good. We at least got our money back there. Um, East New York is happy. The uh, Mafia is happy. So they're getting a little bit happier now. So we got that going for it. Welcome to the heart of the storm where loy loyalties are tested and we made a step in the right direction. How about that? I guess it's important to keep the Mafia happy. <laughs> I don't want them on my bad side. That's for sure. Okay, so yeah, paid our paid our employees, and uh, the Lorem Ipsum news, <laughs> very much. Okay, we got some more people that got some uh, more skills. That's good. So our telegraphers are getting better, our resupplier is getting better. Everyone's getting a little bit better now. A shop is open for us. Let's see what we can buy here. Uh, I don't have a lot of money, Eleanor. So, uh, but it's the police station. A magnifier book stand. So let's see, have a look around. Let's see what we can obtain here. Some of this stuff is essential for becoming the most influential newspaper. So this would, if we click this, this would give us a buff to crime. If we got this, a coat hanger would do all kinds of things. And it'll be prestigious coming soon. And then down here, we have a security booth, which would give us security. Do we need security? I feel like that might be a thing to get. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Let's get let's get a let's get a security booth. Maybe that's a thing that we need. I don't know. So now we can hire security. So we got that going for us just in case bad things happen to us. Um, and then we could if we don't have enough. Or can we get more things? Can we get an alarm bell? Let's see. Because uh, does it use up that influence or not? So let's see. Uh, that gives a buff to security. So can we obtain that? We can. Okay. So maybe we can get all the things that have... The, once we hit that influence level, we can get all the things. So we might as well. So let's go ahead and obtain a coat hanger. So we're just going to get all these things. And a Persian tapestry, which will also... Oh, we don't have enough influence. Uh, how about now? Um, can we get this? Oh, not enough influence again. Oh, so we used up all of our influence. Okay. So we do actually use it up. I guess I could have looked up there and I would have seen it. So as a Sim Tower fan, this is an entertaining game. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Sim Tower from back in the day. So this is a pretty fun one. Uh, Tribe Nation, how you doing? Good to see you here, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And thanks for being around. All right, so let's see. We have to print at least one Mafia. Okay, so it can appear anywhere, but we have to get at least one Mafia story. Oh, boy. Um, all right, we're going down a bad road, but we'll have to do what we can. 
So let's see. We've got a sports story coming. We're going to have an economy story or a society coming and an economy. So what else can we get here? So they are, oh, they're completed. They've got a sports. They want adventurous. Um, they want entertainment and gossip. We don't really have much of any of that. And they want society and tragic. Uh, over here. Ooh, these guys want three things. I don't know if I'm ready to do three things yet. I think we're going to just stick with two things for now. So we'll go here to Maspeth. They want uh, sports and adventurous. So we'll select this one. And just take it nice and easy. We're just going to keep on getting our feet wet with this one. But slowly but surely, we're continuing to expand our reach here. So, okay. And, oh yeah, so that's new actions on that one. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's see. Our Okay, so our printer's busted. Our water cooler is busted. Let's pause this. Let's get ourselves a... Um, what do we need? So if we go back here, what is broken? Uh, we need to build a workbench. So let's build a workbench. That is here. And we're going to put it down here. So we're going to have... This is going to be like our all utility area here. So we're just going to take a workbench. We're going to put it here. It's going to cost us $100. And we're going to hire someone to work at the workbench. We got Grace Gray and we got Edna Johnson, who are both good mechanics. So let's go with Grace. I think Grace is going to be our mechanic here. So there we go. And so now we're good. Edna should start, or Grace should start taking care of some stuff for us. So we can close this out. So now we just got to find some adventurous, and that's likely to be found in crime and society. So we're going to go here. We're going to highlight crime. We're going to highlight society. Because that will hopefully give us some adventurous tags. Because we really need that. And then we just need a mafia tag, which can appear anywhere. So we'll see if we can find one. Oh, Mark G, how you doing? Nice to see you. Orion, Ferguson, nice to see you as well. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. So good to have you both here. All right, let's pause this again. Let's see. Oh, this is the one. Okay, so is Dennis, you're back. So you can either do this for inspiring... Let's see what these other stories are real quick. So uh, what is this story? So this one is unrest and politics, um, but it's all going to be you. Everything is going to be you if we do this, and it's going to take seven days. Uh, is that, that one's going to take seven days. To, or, oh, no, we got seven days to, left to take action. It's going to take a day to do. So what are our two stories? Whoop. Let's see. So we got this story. It's going to take a day. It's going to give us inspiring, which really isn't great. But we put a lot into this story. Oh, yeah, two days left to take action on this. Okay, Dennis, you can go here. Um, and on this story, then, we've got seven days left to take action on this. Okay, so we're just going to hang on. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll leave that one for now. Uh, or let's see, or, or would allow the uh, telegrapher to search to it for a new item. So yeah, I might get rid of that story because I don't. That one's not going to do us any good for now. We're just going to get rid of that one, and we will keep going here. All right, how's our broken stuff doing? Um, it looks like part of it's been fixed. All right, now she's on her way up here to fix that. Get that all taken care of. Uh, how are we doing on paper? So we got 207 pieces of paper. So we're good there. And food, we should probably get some more food. Oh, we still have 41 food. We've hardly used any of our food. Okay. Uh, but we could get some lights up here because I know that people have been complaining about the lights up here. So let's get some lights. Uh, but first, let's check our news. So what do we have here? That, that one's in progress. Longstanding manhunt ends. Uh, adventurous. Okay, we definitely want this. So, Dennis, once you're back, you're going to definitely go on this story. Because that's going to give us our adventurous tag that we need here for Massmouth. And we're just still waiting for a mafia story so we can get that all taken care of as well. So, all right. Hope you guys are having fun with this game. I Like I said, I do enjoy it. It's it's kind of cool. Just the, the Sim Tower action, the Sim Tower aspect of it. And the... Um, 
and uh, trying to build the best paper, just trying to meet all the different qualifiers that we have for the paper. So, yeah, like I said, I, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying this one. Uh, she's not happy about something. Oh, you just need something that's going to make you happy here. Let's let's put a small, let's put a plant over here or something. Um, what can we do that's going to make you a little bit happier? So what can we put here for you to make you smile? Because we want our mechanic to be a little happy. So comforts or employee needs. Uh, let's see. So if we go here to comforts, uh, what can we put here that's going to make you happy? I guess we can give you a small plant. Put it there put it right by you there you go that should make you a little bit happier <laughs> put it on your workbench you got a plan on your workbench that'll work uh oh yeah we're gonna put some lights up here in this top area um you're hungry uh we've got food i know we've got food so <laughs> i just checked <laughs> i know we've got food here got some lights there we go all right so now we're good, doing good on money we'll put a, we'll even put some more lights over here and we'll try and maybe move these lights a little bit get these spaced out and make it look a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, this is looking good. You got got our our washer here. Got our mechanic here. Got a restocker here. <laughs> Just got people doing all the things. Thankfully, our toilet hasn't busted. So, uh, Death Harbinger, welcome. So glad to hear have you here on the live stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're playing News Tower. It's not News Story. We're playing News Tower. Not new story. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if, you, if, if you're catching it late, you can always catch it when we're uh, finished, which will be, uh, we'll be going for, once we get through this day, I think that'll probably be it. So, all right, San Francisco in terror. Uh, Dennis, oh, we, yeah, we need you on both of these stories. So let's, let's see, what were both of these stories that we got? Because we need you here as well. So both of these, and they're both going to take a day. Okay, hopefully we can get that in. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time to get that in. Okay, so we can get these stories into our paper as well. They're all old, but we can get them in. So uh, this is going to go down below the fold. So new factory opens. Uh, we got this sports story. And then this one is being worked on. I think there's a way to move these, prioritize them. Yeah, I think we can move that up. Uh, or can we? Let's see. Sort by highest production time, sort by readiness. Can we move that up? And will that then change their priorities? Maybe. We'll find out. So you're still sad. You're feeling uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Um, I see you here. I don't know why you're uncomfortable, though. You should be happy. Uh, I will, we'll wait and see if you get happy because I don't know what you're unhappy about. I, I gave you a plant. <laughs> Is that not enough? <laughs> what else can I do for you? Uh, we'll wait and see if you get better. All right, let's fast forward some time. Um, cause I've been kind of keeping things slow here. All right. So now we got this crime story. This is ready and, uh, we'll take that. All right. So we're going to actually put that on this page so we're going to put this here and then we're going to take this story we're going to put it up here so we'll actually be able to have two pages of news this time and then i believe he is working on there we go so he's working on this story so this will be one and a half days we'll be able to get that into here okay so now these stories We've got five days left to take action on this. So we don't have to do anything with these right now, which is good because at this point, we're, we're too late in the week to have anything to, to have it be useful. But this will lead to some key information, which we've not seen before. And this needs some key information in order to go down that path. So <laughs> plans miniature golf for empty theaters. I guess if you don't have... I don't, if you don't have any movies, you can put some miniature golf in there. Oh, and that'll give us two influence points if we do that one too. So, But we do have five days to hang on before we have to do anything with that one. So we'll let that one kind of sit. We've got two days before we have to do something with this. I guess we... Ah, I don't think we're going to be able to get it in time, but we'll send Dennis out. We'll have him do that one. And this story will be ready in 
eight hours to put into our paper. And this one will be two and a half days. This one will not make it into uh, this paper. But this one will. So that's good. And that will give us a little bit of extra bonuses because we'll have a couple of crime stories on the front page and everyone loves their crime stories. And we'll also have some adventures, which is what our district needs because we do have one of these in the drawer. All right, there we go. Let's put this into our paper on the front page, not the second page. We want that on the front page. There we go. Long-standing manhunt ends. Law enforcement finally apprehends a notorious gangster. That might be Al Capone. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Might be someone else. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, but we are ready for when our paper is getting ready to go to print. Um, it seems like everyone's happy. Uh, I, they, you're, you're still unhappy. I wish I knew what was making you uncomfortable. Let's see. Because if we click on this, it just says you're feeling uncomfortable. And if I click on this, um, I don't know why you are uncomfortable. So hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. Uh, greetings from Poland. Thank you, Michael. I ho hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a good time. So I hope you're having a good time, too. This game is News Tower, not News Story, as I keep calling it. So <laughs> it's a fun one. It's a Sim Tower game. Sim Tower meets Build Your Best Newspaper, which is what we've been trying to do. And hopefully we've been doing a pretty good job at it. I don't know if we have, because unfortunately, Grace here is very sad. And I don't know what to do to make her happy. So there, there's something that is making her sad. And I wish I knew what it was. But I cannot figure it out. I will have to look into that at some point in time. All right. We can roll the presses. Because uh, we got everything that we need to get into this paper. So we got our, we got our crime stories. We've got our... Um, so we got a couple crime stories. We got all kinds of tags. We do have an adventurous tag, which is going to make the district happy. So I think we're good to go. Let's pull the lever. And off it goes. And there's our paper. Out it comes. The long-standing manhunt has ended. We sold 9,850 newspapers, but it's apparently like reading a 100-year-old book. <laughs> sorry guys uh, it's not always all the fresh news we'll, we'll get better at giving you fresh news I promise so there we go one for record sales we took care of our district so we got three more influence that's kind of nice um, yeah 9,850 from subs and loose sales we made $1,970 eventually we're going to start selling some ads I don't know when but at some point we will um Maspeth is happy. We did everything for them. Um, I didn't. There was no mafia story, so I don't know. I didn't. There was nothing I could do to help you, sir. I wanted to help you, but no mafia story came up. So I'm. I'm sorry. We'll. We'll have to take care of you another time. Uh, uh, don't. Don't break my knees, please. I need those. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, oh, Dennis, he's getting a lot better at crime and society. How about that? And John Higgins is now a level two typesetter. Man, you're going to start getting needy pretty soon, aren't you? I can feel it. I can feel it. It's coming. Uh, all right. So all kinds of things are opening up here. Um, let's click on this. So let's see. Forest Hill Stadium. So, oh, so we can get a sports clipboard which would give us a boost, a boost to sports, um, a medium plant, which would give us some things. All right, so now i got to remember I only have six influence to spend. i got to remember that part. So everything here costs four influence, so we're just going to leave this for now. If we go back to the police station, that's four. We already have a coat hanger. The tapestry would be that. Oh, we could get an alarm light. Um, what should we think? All right, let's leave it up to you guys. What should we get? Should we get a magnifier book stand? Should we get a Persian tapestry? Or should we get... Oh, we'll leave it up. We'll leave it to those. Should we get a book stand? Or should we get a tapestry? What are you guys thinking? A book stand or a tapestry? Um, it's up to you. First thing that comes up in the chat. You can let me know. Is it a book stand or a tapestry? 
and I will get I will spend four influence on whatever the first option is. So you can let me know. Uh, Faye Allenson, how you doing? Good to have you here in the chat. And I hope you're having a wonderful day over there. Uh, yeah, I know it's late in the UK. Uh, I, I hope that you're having a wonderful day nonetheless. Uh, Need for Speed 2015. Tapestry, there we go. We got an answer. The tapestry it is. Boom. We have a tapestry, I'm guessing, that goes on the wall. So we will find out what we can do with that <laughs> at some point in time. But we at least have it. So there we go. Um, what do we have here? We got a, uh, that's going to be a, it's old news, but it's going to be a society story. So, uh, you want entertainment, you want society and you want tragic. Okay. So Port Richmond, we're going to expand out your direction and we will do that for our next time. So there we go. Monday, April, 1930. And we've got some things here that we'll be able to check out. So there we go. Um, let's see. The game isn't finished. The game stops relatively quickly. Huh. Uh, well, I guess we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're getting a decent amount out of it. So, yeah, if we, if we get to a point where we've somehow run out of stuff, I mean, then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. But, yeah, I mean, for right now, it seems like we we got plenty here. Oh, and it's, apparently it's been updated with lots of bug fixes and new things added. So there we go. Um so, yeah, maybe it's time to give it another look. All right. Well, like I said, I hope everyone enjoyed that because it is something new and it is something different. And time, sometimes new and different can be scary, but it's important to have some variety. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day as well. But I that will be it for this one. For everyone who's been here, thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who subscribed today, thank you so much for subscribing. For all the followers on Twitch, thank you so much for following. Um, and, uh, and for all of you that donated, thank you so much for donating. Um, that's very nice of all of you. But that is all for now. Uh, if you're catching this later and you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like it and you're not yet a subscriber, I would appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. As always, thank you guys for being part of the live stream and thank you very much for all the silliness. I am Rusty Champagne and we will see you later. <laughs>